guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm standing in my new apartment. So today is my moving day, but tomorrow the movers are gonna come move everything from my old apartment to my new apartment. But I'm super excited, I love it, it's super cute. You guys will see more of the um, apartment tour. I'm not gonna give y'all too much, but yeah guys, your girl is about to clean and sanitize this place because um, it's, you know, it's a new apartment, you know, gotta make sure it's clean, sanitize everything, all that good stuff. Um, this is my bachelorette pad. It's a one bedroom, it's cute or whatever, I love it. I just really wanted a cozy apartment, so. Yeah, I just had to go and get that, so. Time to start this moving series, guys. Um, I came here with my measuring tape, so I've been like measuring things to see like where things are gonna fit, how things are gonna look, cause I'm basically using a lot of my old stuff from my old apartment. So I just wanna see how it's gonna be looking in the new place. Of course, I'm gonna get a couple new things as well for my place, but for right now, you know, we're gonna work on what we got, cause I have really nice furniture that you guys really haven't even seen, cause I never even did uh, apartments or anything like that. So yeah, that's about it. Um, What's going on today? So I'm about to go downstairs to get my car. We'll get the things out of my car that I need to start my little cleaning process. Um, that's about it. The movers come tomorrow at 9 a.m. So nothing's really happening today. I'm just cleaning. And I'm gonna record my empty apartment tour as well. But I'm just starting off the vlog this way so you guys can see what I want, you know? So, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this moving series um i know it's gonna be a hassle i can't believe i finally have my foot to ceiling windows i'm very happy i've always wanted this so yay okay i'll talk to you guys in a few you guys so i just came from the parking garage i'm gonna put my camera in the cabinet because i forgot my thing but i just came from the parking garage to get these stuff out of my car and this is my first time going in the parking garage this building and listen, the apartment situation here ain't the best. I can already say that from day one, okay? Because they everybody reserves the parking space. So it's like whatever's left for people like me that don't have a really good parking space, I'm gonna say yet because it seems like I'm gonna have to get them. Like it's just not many options after that. And it's like everybody's of course reserving all the spots that's right next to like, you know, the door. So all the other spots are just like, far from the door or something like that. But I just got all like my cleaner products and stuff that I picked up yesterday. I got some Mr. Clean. We use this to mop the floor. This is a multi-surface cleaner, which you can use for everything. So we use that. I got some detergent that I'm definitely gonna use. But it's time for me to just wash everything. But I really feel like I'm gonna wash everything at my old apartment. Apart from here, so I can just have everything already clean. Um, yeah, I got my toilet bowl scrubber. And these are just all my cleaning supplies from my old apartment. So, I'll show y'all, I got me some gloves, you know. I got me some scrubbing bubbles, that's what I use. Clorox spray, of course. Clorox wipes. Um, got me some sage, okay? That's very important. Um, I'm definitely gonna sage just the whole apartment because energy is very important and this is a new place that people have lived before me. So I gotta make sure I clear out all that bad juju that they probably had going on in here. I'm not saying that they did, I'm not saying that they didn't, but you just wanna always be safe coming into a new environment with a bunch of mixed energy. So, I'm gonna do that and come back on the camera in a few when I'm done with that. Um, I'm gonna try to get some food and stuff like that, but my main goal today is just to clean before the movers come in tomorrow, so that way it's just a simple flowing process. But I'm gonna get started and put some gloves on because I don't want nothing getting on my hands or we tripping like that, but I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Guys. Moving is extremely exhausting, I swear. Very, very tiring. I just had to come to Chick fil A. I just left Target. I had to get like a broom, um, some more cleaning supplies, some stuff for like 
like a scrub or a sponge like little supplies like that that i was missing um i'm just trying to make sure this apartment is super clean before um moving forward with bringing anything inside but i had to get some food like ugh, i'm so hungry i don't know if i should get a sandwich or Why is this guy looking at my car so Alright, what's your name? Shayna. Shayna? Mm -hmm. Shayna, come all the way down. I'll have no way help you out of here. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Yes. What can I get for you? Can I have a spicy chicken sandwich? No pickle. You want the meal or just the sandwich? The meal. With the sun joy. Alright, any sauces for you? Just chef filet sauce. Anything else for you? Um, no. That'll be all. It's going to be 822. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. And you can follow the uh, white Mercedes okay. when you get up there. You should All right. leave this one right over here. Oh, right here? Yes, this one to your side. The silver one? Okay, thank yeah. you. I got this waist trainer on. I got a birthday trip on the way. So I'm trying to get snatched, but still kind of gain. I'm trying to keep the stomach snatched. So hopefully all the food just goes to my booty, you know? That's the goal. But I'm about to just get this food, then drop these stuff back off to the apartment, and then I'll probably head back to my old place to finish the little bit of packing that I have left before my movers come tomorrow at 9 a.m. I'm really excited. Um, I'm over here trying to decide if I should make this a separate vlog from the empty apartment tour because I'm just not sure how long the empty apartment tour video is going to be. I'm trying to, I'm aiming for it to be 10 minutes, hopefully, but I don't know. I'll see what happens. I just want to just have like content kind of lined up for the moving series. So. Yeah, guys, so I'm going to get this food and then... a.m. I literally just got off the bed like 10 minutes ago. I only had enough time to literally brush my teeth and take my bonnet off because they said they were 10 minutes away. I'm not a morning person. I do not like waking up early. None of that. But I'm going to give you guys a glance at my messy ass apartment right now. So on my boxes I have like my sheets here. Some paintings and stuff here, like a little mirror that was in my closet there. Yeah, my mirror was that big that I had a closet. I mean, a mirror, okay? The new crib ain't that big. You know, got a little more stuff here. TV's coming down. The kitchen is an absolute mess. The cabinets are empty. All my boxes. This other room that used to be my office. They're not going to be touching this room. Only like a few stuff I'm going to give them to take. But this room was a mess. This bathroom 
my second bathroom. I literally just took this down last night. The shower curtain, and this is another closet that I had for like inventory and stuff like that. Um, it's really messy in here. Like when you're unpacking to move, or maybe I'm just not a good mover when I when it comes to unpacking. I was just throwing shit everywhere into boxes, bags. Of course, I was organizing my boxes by like things like the rooms and stuff, but it gets messy. Okay, so. It gets messy, but it also gets better because, you know, when I sit down and really just organize the new spot, it's going to really come together. Um, yeah, <clears throat> anybody that's looking for a building to live in, the building that this is was Gateway Chastain in Sandy Springs, Atlanta. I really love this building. Um, if you ever come here, make sure you tell them Shayna sent you. Um, and yeah, it was a really great building, a great building for my first move to Atlanta. I had absolutely no problems with them. So check them out. kind of finished my bathroom yesterday i still gotta do a little more stuff and get a couple more things but so far this is what my bathroom is looking like i'm going for like a touch of pink this pink bench i'm gonna have like a painting right up on this wall i have my pink shower curtain and like the rug is like cream with like gold glitter really really cute but when it's really done i'll show you guys the end result but like i said a lot of my stuff is starting to come upstairs we have the mattress over here tv boxes more things on the way up so when everything gets complete i'll come back on the cam and check in with you guys but i can't be on the camera because they're gonna be like this girl's lazy she's not even helping us but yeah that's what i'm paying you guys for so look. but i'll see you guys soon Step outside real quick. Show y'all my little outfit. 
Cute little dress. This is a Renee MIC dress from 2019. Still super cute. I'm actually gonna wear this. <laughs> I'm wearing this to my friend's gender reveal. A pink dress with a blue bag. I think I'm team boy, but I'm wearing a pink dress. That's why I got the blue bag though. So yeah, I'm about to step out right now. It's 9.03. It starts at 9.15, so I have to go now. But I just wanted to check in with you guys real quick, and I'll see you guys when I get back. It's the whole off. The whole fair is <laughs> The lights are going to cut off, and then it's going to cut back on, and then it's going to rotation of pink, blue, pink, blue, pink, blue, and then it's going to turn automatically a pink or blue. So that's how we know. Pink girl, blue boy. So yeah, we have... Three more minutes. <laughs> Micah, say something to my vlog. Hi. She looks hey, beautiful. Yes. Hey guys. We're here for the gender reveal. It's 9.30. It's 9.30. Where's your Join Come here. Join Come here. All right. What's happening? Oh, wait. Why is that thing so blue? There you go. Uh, is, is it a boy? Wait, what is it gonna be? Oh, they do this. They do this. Oh my god. Oh, my god. oh nah, they know what they do. Oh, wait. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Come on. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I don't have enough footage. Oh I'm shaking right now.
put on the camera for a little while because I was just busy trying to unpack my stuff and I know I said I was going to take you guys through the process of me unpacking and stuff but picking up the camera kind of slows me down and I'm on a mission right now to unpack this apartment and be done um I'm about to try to put my paintings on the wall in my bathroom using velcro hopefully it works um this is one painting right here this is chanel painting and i got this other one from home goods these two paintings used to be in my office in new york and you know i'm basically just utilizing all the stuff that i have because i have so much artwork and so much furniture from like my office i actually sold a lot of it when i moved from Brooklyn, but I have so many different pieces that I could utilize, so I'm trying to see what looks good in here first before I go out and buy anything new, because I have really good pieces, so I'm going to try to put that up on the wall. Hopefully it sticks, so I'm going to go grab that real quick. So this is the Velcro. I got this from Target. It's called, well, it's called the Velcro brand. It holds up to 10 pounds, and it comes like this. I've never used this particular one before, but it should be just like the one I've used and for other things i use velcro on my car also for um to hold my camera up velcro is the truth it's super strong so i'm just gonna cut it i just cut piece off the roll and i'm gonna cut this piece like in half like this and then um after i cut this in half i'll cut this one in half and then start attaching it to the um the painting so obviously, you're going to want to put, I think I'm doing this right. <laughs> you're going to want to put the sticky side onto, you know, the surface of whatever you're using. I'm not bugging. This one is hard. The other one I bought before. That my, that my Renee sign is hanging on to it is way easier like this one it's not even peeling off why do I here you know. I don't have no lip I don't have no nails so I can't even get a grip of this i'm gonna try to use my tweezers hopefully my tweezers can grip this because i can't get it this is frustrating and i'm trying to do a tutorial for y'all okay so the tweezers got it so it basically comes up like that y'all know my camera is trash so i can't even focus to show y'all what that is it. Comes up like that. I'm assuming I'm gonna stick this to the painting first. So I'm gonna take this piece and put it right here on the painting. And then take the other piece of this and just attach it to that. But this sticky piece will go like on the wall. Does that make sense? And I'm not good with these tutorials. I don't do this. I don't do this for a living, y'all. Okay, hold on. No, no, no. This is wrong. Oh, okay. I see what to do. All right. That's also gonna stick onto the painting as well. Let me turn the camera so y'all can see me. So um, now, oh, I see what's going on here. So there's one side of the soft velcro for this. And then the other side is the hard piece right here. Okay, okay, okay. Now, this hard piece is going to stick to the wall. I'm hoping this is making sense to you guys because, like I said, I'm not the best when it comes to explaining how to do things. Like, this is not a tutorial video. I just decided to throw this into my vlog so y'all can see how I'm hanging on my artwork. At my old apartment, I hung up my artwork with nails, and then, you know, you gotta patch up the walls and stuff like when you move, so I'm hoping this works so I don't have to do this here, because ain't nobody, well, I don't want to do that, like, that's a lot of work, and I'm not trying to 
give myself more work. So I'm gonna stick this one painting up before I leave the house and see if it stays up. By the time I come back in the apartment, if it's still on the wall, I will start hanging up the other painting because that's how I'm gonna know like if it's worth my time to even do the other one. when they put their paintings they use like a leveler and stuff like that i don't need all that i have really good like average when it comes to looking at things one of my hidden talents don't tell nobody but i don't need all that not for this one at least um the paintings in my living room i have like three separate paintings so that is going to need some extra work so once i get this all on the thing i'll come back and talk to you guys okay My first painting is up. Oh, the Velcro is showing in the corner. Right, I'm gonna cut that so it's not gonna be shown. But as you guys can see, so far it's sticking. It says she writes her own rules and inspires others to follow. Period. You know, I'm a Leo, natural born leader. Um, let me clean this up. Damn, I'm mad it's showing in the corner. I thought I did it perfectly. I guess not. But I'll probably have the Chanel one next in a second. But I need to just be a little more neater with the placement of my Velcro because, oh my God. I thought I was a handyman for a second, but I guess not. Um, I'll fix that. I'll get back to that. I don't feel like doing it right now. But it looks cute. My bathroom is going to be nice and pink. If y'all not already catching the vibes from my shower curtain and that. So I'm going to do the rest and come back on the camera later. I'm trying to go to the grocery store soon because I don't have any groceries. So I'm going to try to do that in a second. I've already had your man. Do you wanna know just where he's been? Yeah. And I'll be worried about him there. Now he's finding out the truth. I think he's just a man for you. Oh, yeah. what do you think? Oh, boy. since I think like Wednesday or Thursday because I have a long weekend of unpacking and moving my stuff so I just need to focus it. I'm not going to the camera but I just wanted to check in with you guys real quick before I left to go to the office so when I get back in the house tonight I'll check in with you guys. I need to charge my camera too because the battery 
it's flashing red it's dead so i'll see you guys later i hope you guys are enjoying this little vlog i ain't really doing nothing i'm being real boring i'm tired like you guys have no idea like my eyes feel heavy but i'm gonna check in with you guys when i get home okay later Shrimp. I didn't um, check in with you guys. I didn't check in with you guys when I got in the house because I was going in the bed. But I'm gonna pick up my food. We eating on paper plates. My friend is over here. We got paper plates tonight. Don't feel like washing those dishes. Paper plates. But don't me? Yeah. I'm just ready now. Myself in my bonnet vlogging. Like, she wanna post me on YouTube. I didn't know it was on YouTube. Look what people send me. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Who sent you that? My friend. She's like, I love her channel. I said, look at Mo. I said, oh my gosh. What, to what's her name? Her name is Megan. People don't be consenting to be on my channel, but it's okay. They don't want to go on my channel. Wait till. Ah, 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 ah. No. Wait, wait, ah. wait till my channel get big and popping. She gonna no, be like, girl, that. can you post it on your channel? No. Oh my god. No, the problem is she likes to post people when they look bad. Girl, look. I look bad, so post me when I'm cute. That's what I'm saying. No, you gotta be on YouTube and give in no, the real. No, you gotta do that. I need to be cute. Looking cute. Like you don't shit. look bad. I look, I have the bonnet bad. on. I have no lashes on. You're not gonna upload. <laughs> She's talking about I'm not gonna upload it. Please. I don't have money or Chick Fil A or Shaw or Lemon Drop. They've seen me in my me. bonnet before. This is not nothing new, baby girl. So let me waist training. Oh yeah, I can always turn on, but I just wait, had to loose it. Hold on, wait. Let me see. You have to give it to me. Have you guys ever tried this? I want to start trying this because a bitch is trying to get thick, okay? So I need to try that. But I heard it's nasty. But I can always turn it on. But it's not tightened because I just ate that curry shrimp that I showed you guys. But stop looking at me. All right. Laugh now. Laugh now. Laugh now. But I'm gonna check in with you guys later. Hey y'all, it's Moisa. And I'm back with another video. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm gonna check in with y'all a little bit later. <laughs> I'm about to clean up my food stuff, my dishes, and drink some more wine. And try again tomorrow. Yeah, try again tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. Oh, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, guys, I just came to Target to look for a TV. I was gonna go to Best Buy, but Target had better prices, so you know we gotta go where the pricing is right. Period. I was trying to figure out what the difference would be from a 70. To a 75 and it's a big difference i actually want an 80 but that might be a little bit too big for the wall so, i don't know let me look around okay all right guys so i didn't I look crazy but i didn't get the tv and target just now because they didn't have the one that i wanted so i'm going to try best buy later but i had to rush home to make my appointment with the tv guy to put my tv up 
So I'm actually heading inside my apartment now and I'll come back on the camera and show you his work, okay? All right, you guys, so my TV is up. Y'all see me right there looking like a snack. Let me stop. <laughs> so my TV's up in my room. So I'm about to go to Best Buy and see if I can get my other TV for the living room. And then I'll come back on the camera and let you guys know how my process goes because I'm trying to find something to go on this wall right here. Um, this TV is a 65 inch. I want something a little bigger, but then too big for the living room. I'll show, kind of show you guys what I'm working with. Yeah. So I'll figure it out. Hey guys, so I don't remember the last time I picked up the camera. Y'all see me? Like my wig is coming off, everything. I look a hot mess. This is what happens when you're moving. And you're so focused on moving that you're not even doing nothing else. Hold on. Let me fix the camera. I'm about to wash my hands. Like, I look really crazy. Um, hold on, let me put away these stuff first. Let's get from Target. I have to get a kettle. Other stuff. I want to get a hamper, but they didn't have what I was looking for. Like, I want like a narrow hamper. Don't wear my garbage. I gotta go out. I want a narrow hamper that closes. Like, I don't want to see my dirty clothes. So, they didn't have that in Target. Well, I was at like Home Goods and a couple other places. I got this kettle. It's a black cuisine like, kettle. I was gonna get an electric kettle, but for some reason. I don't feel like I could get with those electric kettles yet. Like, there's something about me boiling my water on my stove and hearing the whistle of a kettle that just does it for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm old school. I don't know. I'm just used to stuff like this. I was considering an electric kettle, but I don't know. I kind of just want to do it the old-fashioned way. So, <clears throat> I got this one. I was debating between black and silver. Of course, I'm going to wash this first, but I just want to see how it's going to look on my stove. I was debating between a black or a silver kettle, but I just thought black would be a little more sleek. But I don't know how I feel about it. Let me show you guys. This is how it looks on the stove. This is my kitchen right now. It's all right. I might not keep it out. I might just, you know, use it and then, like, put it back in the cabinet when I'm done because I don't I don't know how I feel. What y'all think? Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Um so yeah I got a kettle. I got some more like liner paper for my cabinets. Cause I've been running like my cabinets, especially the bathroom, because my last apartment a lot of makeup got on in those drawers, like from makeup being in drawers and stuff like that. So I don't want that to happen again. So yeah, I just got some more towels in my bathroom as for like decorations. So I'm about to put these in the wash and I don't really get a thing. So I just wanted to show y'all my little tackle haul. But this paper is really good. It's called Contact. Um, I get this little print. I think it's really cute. I really love gray. Gray is like my color of choice for a lot of things. So I just have to get that in gray. Guys, it is pouring. And the weather has been so bad, like literally rain every minute. But I'm gonna finish unpacking these stuff. I'm about to make some dinner. I think I'm gonna make fried chicken. But my cousin showed me how to make fried chicken a different way. Like no grease fried chicken. No, it's not an air fryer. And no, I should not be on camera looking this busted, but it's okay. But when I start making my food, I'll come back on the camera and show you guys how she showed me how to do it. I'm gonna be making lemon pepper wings with mashed potatoes and corn. So I'll come back on the camera if I feel like it. I'll put like a scarf on my head because my lace looks crazy. Like I need to get my hair done and get myself together this weekend. Hopefully I can find some plans. I've just been in the house, in my new house, but I don't mind because I want to just get myself situated. I still got more stuff at my old apartment that still needs to come over here, like just clothes and shoes like that. So. Guys, moving is a lot. Like, I told myself when I came to Atlanta, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to move into a new apartment every year until I settle down and buy a house. But 
I think I'm just gonna stay here for a little while because moving every year is mm -mm, it's too expensive. You gotta pay for movers. That's if you want it. Like I like convenience, so I pay for convenience. You gotta pay for movers. You gotta um pay to take down your well the movers take down your TV, but you gotta pay to put, to put your TVs back up again. Like I paid my guy one eighty to put that TV up in my room because I didn't and because of the kind of stand I needed to put the TV on, it was supposed to be 150, but it came to 180. So I'm just like, damn, like 180 to put the TV. I already paid this when I was at my old place. I gotta pay it again. Then I got another TV I gotta put up on Friday. That's gonna be like another 180. Listen, move on, ain't cheap. Can't believe I believe everything we have will last so young and naive. I'm from your past, silly of me to dream of one day having your kids. Love is so blind, it feels right when it's wrong. I can't believe I fell for your schemes. I'm smarter than that. So come and naive to believe that with me, you're a changed man. So I'm back in the car. Well, I'm in the car. I wasn't even anywhere else to say I'm back in the car. But I'm checking with, I'm checking in with you guys today. It is Thursday, July 22nd. I just left my office. And I was actually heading to my old apartment because I had to clear out a few things in there. Um, but I'm not going to go there first. I'm going to go to Home Goods first because I need to get a hamper. Like, I'm looking for a very specific hamper. I want a hamper that's like narrow and rectangular and also I want it to close. Like I don't like seeing my dirty clothes and I will be putting in the hamper in my bathroom because I don't like having my hamper in the bedroom and I also don't have a big laundry space for me to put in the laundry room so I'm gonna have to make it work. So I'm on my way to home but see if they have that. Um, tomorrow I'm actually gonna be shooting with a model for the first time for my clothing boutique I'm really excited about that because for, what the hell for all the time that I've had my clothing boutique I started my clothing boutique in November 2018 I've never had a model like I've always done it myself but I'm at the point I'm really tired of taking pictures every week like I'm just over it so I want to see what it's like to have somebody else come in and take the pictures <laughs> and take the pictures and like you know take my place for once like I'm trying to find ways not even I'm trying to I'm finding ways of making the I'm finding ways to make the workload easier on me so that way things can be more productive and efficient you know I'm like you can't keep doing the same thing and expecting different results so I'm trying different ways of making my business better I'm just hoping like you know everything goes smoothly tomorrow it's going to be a lot of clothes. Like I'm going to have like 20 new arrivals because I didn't drop new arrivals in about two weeks because I've been super busy with like this move and everything. So yeah, she's, it's going to be a lot of clothes. So I'm going to give her a little warning before she gets to me and let her know, you know, get a good night's sleep and everything because I'm, ex I'm trying to get a lot of content. Like I'm going to be the one taking the pictures because I have a professional camera and I, don't, I know how to take pictures. Like I'm not booking a photographer yet. I'm going to do that. Um, I'm gonna edit them. I also want to get like reels content as well as like you know just little videos. There's a lot of things I have planned, and I'm just happy that I'm finally getting everything like done. So that's what's happening tomorrow. I wanna. I'd be so focused on just trying to make my purchase, look around, figure out what I like, all that stuff, and then get out. Like, it'd be hard for me to vlog. But I think I recorded a little clip while I was in the store. So I want to show you guys what I got today. 
Um, I didn't really get a lot because they didn't really have a lot, but I got some really good pieces. So first I got this beautiful vase from World Market. This was $25. This is a really great piece. It looks expensive for a nice price. And that's what I like. So it's really solid. So I'm gonna show you guys how I plan on using this. So this is it right here. Boom. Um, I got that with some pompous grass from World Market. Um, I've been looking for some good pompous grass everywhere. I mean, I found some at like um, Etsy and Amazon, but the reviews weren't that good. People always complain about them shedding. So I found this on World Market and you see it's not shedding. So I'm gonna put this inside of this vase. This pompous grass, guys, this is expensive. It was eight dollars each. Oh my god. I was like, that's a lot. But it looks super, super cute. You guys can see, like I really like this. Um I'm gonna put this on one of my little accent tables that's in my living room. So cute, I've been feeding for it. So I feel like these four pieces look good enough, but you guys let me know if you think I should add another piece in the base for more fullness because if so i'll get some more so i got that and the last thing i got was from home goods because they didn't really have a lot of cute stuff to me but like i said the pieces i got were hitting look at this tray that i got from home goods this is like i think it's real marble because it's super heavy so um i got this from home goods this was another great price 20 dollars and listen, this don't look like it costs $20. I'm telling y'all. This looks like it's like $100. Okay? Seriously. So I'm going to put this. I think I'm going to use this somewhere in my bathroom. And just probably put like a candle on top of it or something. I really haven't decided what I'm going to do with that. But I love my two pieces. Like, what do you guys think? Comment below what you guys think of my pieces. And let me know. yeah beautiful so that's what i got um these are my purchases so i also went to my p.o box today and i got this package but i don't know what's in here this is probably beauty products this is a home moving vlog so i'll probably just show you guys this I got this package from Cozy Earth. I'm doing a collab with them for when I do my bedroom makeover. So I think in this package is only um the I think this is just the mattress. Not not the mattress, the um what is it called? I think this is the comforter. So I'm supposed to be doing a collab with them. They're sending me like a comforter as well as a sheet set for this collab. I'm really excited about that because you know me moving and then getting this um, brand new. Um, it couldn't have been, you know, more perfect than that. So this comforter comes in this bag. So Cozy Earth is supposedly Oprah's favorite premium bedding company so they sent me a bamboo comforter um i'm really excited i heard a lot of good reviews about this product and this comforter costs 400 dollars guys like 400 something dollars it's, it's up there but i'm gonna have a 50 percent off code for you guys of course you know they always give me a code but it comes in this bag and guys when i tell y'all i can't wait to put these sheets on my bed because i want to know ooh, Oh my God, guys, they are, it's so soft. I'm not gonna take out the bag because I'm not using it anytime soon, but this, yeah, it's soft and it's like silky. I can't wait to put this on my bed. Like, when I get the rest of this stuff, yeah, this, the, the sheets and like the pillowcases and stuff are supposed to come in a separate package. So when that comes, I'll give you guys the full bag, but. That's basically it. It's a bamboo comforter, all season, all season weight for a queen size bed. That's what I have. But yeah, that's about it. I'm about to figure out where I want to put this in my apartment, and then 
that's about it. I'm off for just one now for the rest of the night. It's about it's eight o'clock on a Thursday. Tomorrow my other TV is supposed to get delivered. So most likely I'll pick back up the camera when the guy comes to put up the TV. But I have a really busy day tomorrow, so hopefully he could still even come to put up my TV because I'm gonna be busy. So I might have to reschedule. So I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so right now I am in my old building. Um, today I'm shooting with Amara for my clothing line. So she is changing right now. So I'm gonna just show you guys some of the BTS of getting boutique content. Um, <clears throat> it's not that tedious, but it's a little tedious because we're trying to get reels content for Instagram as well as content for the website. And we'll also be shooting a couple of shots outside for Instagram aesthetic content. So I'm going to take you guys along with me the best way that I can because I'm actually doing a lot right now. So bear with me. But I'm just waiting on the model to come back so I can show you guys her. She's so pretty. And she's doing a good job. So I'm excited and I'm happy that, you know, we're trying to model for the first time. So let's see how this goes. to show you guys when it came because I was heading out the door but my TV got delivered today I have an 82 inch this TV is huge like I don't know if you guys can tell on camera this thing is big okay so we're gonna have to see and make it do what it do 
I want it to go up on this wall right here. So hopefully, I mean, I measured it, so it should fit and it should be good. But oh my God, I'm so nervous. Like this TV looked so much smaller in store. Now that it's here, I'm just like, I don't know. Who watches it because? I'm gonna watch out. What? <laughs> Move this box over there, please. <laughs> Slide it on over. I'm gonna have to put you down. You ready? You deliver pizza? No, with you, that's actually you ready. Hold on. Well, you need three people? That's what I'm saying. Okay. Oh, you, you deliver the pizza? Me and you. What, what did no, I'm talking about. Okay, right. Yeah. You need me to help you? Are you good? Fine. No, once you deliver, you don't realize how heavy it is. Okay, what else? So, yeah, so if we get the ball. Let's move this a certain type of way. How is this happening? Is this gonna protect the screen? Like, when they say that. Move this until you put it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on. I just need to get to the bottom. As So I haven't picked up the camera and updated you guys since my TV was getting put up about my apartment. So I'm about to leave out for work. But I'm like, let me show them how my TV looks. He actually put up paintings for me too. These paintings were in my old apartment. I told you guys I'm bringing a lot of my old stuff. Well, I brought a lot of my old stuff over because I have really good pieces that I'm not trying to get rid of. But let me show you guys the TV. He did that, okay? So this is how it's looking. This is an 82 inch Samsung. And I have like my same chase underneath it, really cute. And I also got this pompous grass as you guys saw 
in my vlog also it's just a placement for now i still got a box right here that i had to take to my old apartment to get the rest of my things but i'm gonna have two accent chairs on either side on each side of this table right here but everything is coming together really really cute i really love the tv there's lights behind it but yep this is the vibe and So yeah guys, I think I'm going to end off this vlog right here. I feel like, you know, I gotta split it up a little bit. Um, today's Monday, so I've officially been living here for about 10 days, nine days probably, yeah. So I got a lot accomplished in a week it's time, in my opinion. So I'm about to head to the office. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, uh -huh.